All glory be to the Father. Oh, I praise the Lord. Our Father. Praise our Father. Praise the Lord, our Father. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. So, when you are free and, and God really freed you from sin, he freed you from being deceived. He freed you from believing in lies. So when it talks in the in in this Matthew chapter six, and I'll start at verse nine. Thy kingdom or our father. So it don't say that he's only the Hebrew Israelites' father. It say our father. It said the whole world know about God. It says everywhere, every country, every nation, they all seen God. They seen his creation. They seen the rivers. Everybody know that God, when the when the rivers cry out, when the when the storm come and the waves start to the flow on the on, you can go read and learn about all this in um either Isaiah or the book of Psalms. So when the when the the the, the, the um storm come and the rivers and the sea starts to cry out, and God hears their cry, and then he calm the storm. And then the waves will go back to normal. See, everybody's know God, but they don't see him for who he truly is. I know God because I've been studying his word and showing myself approved. And it's marvelous in my eyes because a lot of men can't get this knowledge. Kings and princes pray for this type of knowledge and wisdom and they still can't get it. So it's, it's a blessing for this wisdom and knowledge to fall upon my heart to fall upon my mind, to fall in front of my eyes, to come across my ears. A lot of people have eyes, but they see not. Ears, but they can't hear. At least they will believe with their heart and be converted, and my God will heal them. My Lord will heal you. If you believe and be converted, just believe. Stop doubting, stop trying to debate and go against God. Why are you fighting God anyway? He said, deliver us from evil lead us not into temptation so anybody that's up here tempting you that's automatically letting you know they're not posting scriptures they're not coming humbly they're not saying i want to pray with you brother the bible god tells us when we he said our father which are in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done remember y'all say honor your mother and honor your father Jesus said, who is my mother? Who is my brother and sister and brethren? But he who hears the word of God and do it. See, when he came in the New Testament, he kind of gave people a way how to look at, uh, at the truth for what it is. Just stare straight at the truth and don't sugarcoat it. And, and, and uh, all right, well, who is my mother and sister and brother? But those who do the will of my father, which is in heaven, those who hear the word of God and do it, the same as my mother, sister, brethren. He said, if you forsake, Mothers, brethren, sisters, houses, jobs, for the gospel's sake, you'll get all this back with tribulation. I forsake everything. Y'all don't know what this word means. It really held me, it helped me. And I'm proving everything I'm saying. The devil is a liar. See, Jesus brought us new teachings. Y'all say respect your mother and your father. But what about when he said, who is my mother and sister and brethren? What about when he said, when you forsake everything for the gospel's sake, you'll gain new mothers, new sisters, new brothers. My family ain't my family. My blood family ain't my blood family. They, they look, why would I leave a wicked, corrupt people that never never really love god right superstitious people on top of that women preachers and y'all okay with that but y'all want to talk about people in the family and say what they're doing wrong but nobody won't go up in front of that woman preacher face and tell her to stop preaching but you judging the whole family but let me continue Woo! 
Sunday. Oka, may peace be unto you. May peace be unto you. In Jesus' name, my brother. So, this word, when it comes on you and when it when it hits you, you you're gonna be changed. You're gonna be changed. And you'll have Pharisees sitting back trying to judge you, stalking you, monitoring you, is only letting you know that you're doing the right thing. So stay on the right track. That's my advice for y'all. I want to I want to take a little bit of time to get situated and then we'll come right right with this stream. We're going to be talking about garments. We're going to be talking about fringes and I'm going to be showing and proving. So when Jesus said, who is my mother, sister and father, but them that do the will of my. Who but do the will of my father in heaven, my mother, sister and brethren. So. And then he say, if you forsake houses, mother, clothes, you'll you'll gain all that back with tribulation. He said, there's nobody that forsake houses, children, lands, jobs and all that stuff for the gospel's sake. But if you do, you'll gain it all back double with tribulation. So if you know this word, you'll know that if, if your mom ain't doing the will of God, then Jesus said, Whoever do the will of my father is my mother. And I say the same thing. When you living in an adulterous lifestyle and you know it's a sin, you don't want to repent. You don't want to change. Only reason why y'all keep seeing me like doing certain things that y'all don't agree with, even though it's not a sin, but I'm willing to change so I can win more souls. You get what I'm saying? I must decrease. He must increase. But I'm not willing to go back and forth in the comment section with something I already talked about and prove that y'all don't know that it's wrong. You can't show me it's a sin. So we're not going to keep going back and forth about it. But you don't talk about the other sins, how you hate your brother without a cause. It ain't even nothing in the Bible to tell you to try to rebuke somebody for doing this. So you just got hate and jealousy in your heart just coming out because they taught you how to act. They taught you how to look, how to dress, how to speak. And when you see somebody that don't do that, it makes you feel like they're not representing Christ or you get what I'm saying. But you was taught traditions. You wasn't taught godliness and holiness. Because you you won't even care about anything. You would call your family your family knowing they live in wicked. I don't I don't want to associate with that. Ain't nobody doing the will of God. Even the people that be in your family, that that's um the religious ones, they go to churches with women preachers. So how are you judging everybody in the family, but you won't judge your own preacher that you keep going and making her think that she's so biblical? See, I've been, I've seen a lot, and I've seen how the devil works. He'll smile right up in your face and be all cool with you. Hey, how's it going, Vaughn? And just act like they ain't doing nothing wicked. Soon as you say something about what they're doing, they want to start start a lot of problems. So it's better to just rebuke rebuke these people openly, because others will fear also, and then y'all keep losing members from from y'all church. If that, like the sister yesterday that told me what I'm talking about and this and that. Well, how about you tarry over there on them other channels? See if they give you see if you get the Holy Ghost by listening to them videos. I guarantee you be back over here sooner than you know it. Sending me all these emails. But may peace be upon you and God bless you. I still love you, but I'm not going to be tolerating people who want to disagree because I, my heart and my spirit don't sit right with the stuff you want me to talk about. I'm not talking about no galaxies and and, and um, moon and stars Jesus ain't teach like that You pulling up all these scriptures Ain't no salvation in that That's not edifying I, What I'm doing is moving people It's moving their souls to want to Know more about God So don't question and, and try to stop what I'm doing Everything I'm doing is by the grace of God Morning Mika Hall So we about to start up this stream In about 10 minutes You have honor you have honor your mother and father no matter what, bro. Yeah, now look at it like this. 
I honor my mother by by not lying to her, by not stealing to her, by by keeping God's commandments. I honor my mother. But if my mother is in adultery, she's getting drunk. I'm not going to claim that I that she's really my mother because she ain't doing the will of God. She's just a woman that birthed me. I'm being real. She just a woman that birthed me. If she ain't doing, she done claim. Look, she done wrote stuff on my dresser saying, "I don't know who you are anymore," and 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 she was never walking with Christ, never knew the Bible, never taught me the Bible, but she's writing letters trying to, you know, put me down and stuff. I've been through too much, so now I can speak the truth. She said the same thing to me not too long ago. So all these things that she, you try to control your own children and not want to talk up to them, but try to put them down and control them. That ain't no real mom. That ain't my mom. That's the devil right there. And you being controlled and deceived. And I still love her. But my mother is who do the will of my father in heaven. Th this woman is doing witchcraft and she's involved with two Freemasons. And I don't trust her at all. She never took me to no Freemasonic meeting with her. But she go with her boyfriends. So I don't trust her. They got secrets and they wicked. And they've been spying and stalking me and trying to do harm to me. They have done harm to me. So my thing is, you talking about, y'all said something about how y'all heard that I hit my mom. I never hit my mom. I grabbed her and threw her down on the bed and was shaking her. And this came from years of witchcraft and attacks. And I'm not even knowing. Now I'm starting to find out. So it's like, you, you keep, keep trying to talk to me like, you're like, I'm nothing. You get what I'm saying? Just because somebody is in a not in a condition to do as much for themselves don't mean you keep putting them down i'm I, I i don't like that stuff it moved me so far away from that type of people that's that's i won't say that's part of the reason but that's one of the reasons why i find so much joy with doing this and preaching this word and reading these scriptures because i know how dark people are i know they don't have god and they don't lead people to god and they don't even believe in God. Once I told certain people from that church how they go to women preachers and they ain't supposed to go. These is like my sister's friends. When I rebuke certain people and tell them how your church you're going to is false. You need to stop going there. They call. They don't call nobody from the church. They call my mom. My mom ain't in the church. So why would you call my mom and say something about how I, I rebuked you and told you stop going to this false church? Why you didn't call your pastor and have your pastor call me? That fake pastor, Deborah Elaine Gauss. She's fake at Holy Light Church. She's false. Ain't that, that women preachers are false. You ain't supposed to be preaching there. They buried my stepfather. I, I had to go to that church when I was young and be deceived. So now I know the truth. I speak the truth. My aunt still go to that church and her and my cousin. And they got like high positions in the church. So they like they're working witchcraft. They're all Eastern stars. I don't care what nobody say. Y'all cannot prove that what y'all doing is righteous. God didn't tell y'all to do what y'all doing. And y'all will die and go to hell if you don't repent and start confessing your sins. How you mislead the people, y'all mislead the family. Celebrating all these fake ass holidays, want to pray for the family, but you a sinner. I don't care if you don't drink and you don't smoke. My aunt don't drink and don't smoke. But she go to a false church with a woman preacher. So who you think God is looking at like their heart is more pure? Mine. Because he don't care about what what how many, he's going to clean away our sins. He just care about are we leading people to Christ? They ain't lead people to Christ. How? How? You don't even love God. You ain't even worship him in truth and spirit. So when you say these things, they want to take you out. They don't want you talking no more because you're too powerful. You speak too um, freely. You're too bold. You're not afraid. And nobody likes that because they were bullies they were being bullies all their life and now somebody actually stands up and calls them out they don't like that they've been stealing and robbing money from this community for over 20 years so somebody comes up and speaks out about it they're used to just doing what they want it's like that it's like that family member that everybody know that he's he's doing something wicked, but everybody won't say nothing about it. I don't know why, but y'all all be having that stuff in y'all family. 
the family member that done been to jail for incest or something like that. And everybody know he ain't really supposed to be around children. He probably got an ankle monitor or something like that. But everybody feels so freely to talk to him because he sell drugs and all this stuff. And it's just so fake, man. I'm tired of being around fake stuff, man. I can't wait to get away and just get my deliverance and, and move somewhere where I know God want me to be at peace and do his will. I used to run away from this place, sleep in my car in Connecticut and just work three days in a row at times. I just give y'all a little bit of my testimony because our testimonies make the devil do a backflip. It says honor your parents, right? It says honor your mother and your father. But when Jesus said, who is my mother? Who is my father? You can't tell me that this don't mean what it say. If I take honor your mother and your father and then I take who is your mother and your father, but do the will of God. When Jesus said, who is my mother and father, but him who hear the word of God and do it. And if I take all these scriptures and put them up together, are you going to tell me that that the, your mother and your father is still the same one that birthed you if they live in wicked? See, I don't think y'all get that teaching when he say my mother and my father is them who hear the word of God and do it. Jesus mother never controlled him, never, never told him what to do. She told the um, she told the people that whatever he say, do it. So she wasn't trying to control him like most mothers because he was a prophet. If a mom was a woman of God, she would raise up her son and he would become a prophet because she would put the word in his heart. But a lot of women is not have the fear of God. A lot of women is prideful. And it's just it makes you so angry when you are humble and you see what God is saying. And then you got a lot of pride people around you. that don't believe in God. So it's, it don't make no sense about talking about the word of God. But every time they hear the word of God preach, they are listening. So the, I'm tired of the devil. I'm tired of him working through people and trying thinking that he can overpower God. This battle is, is one of the best fights I fought in my life because I know I'm not doing wrong. I'm not on the bad side. I'm not an enemy of God. It don't matter how many people team up and try to come against the truth. You will always lose because all it takes is one person to stand for the truth and it'll put thousands of people to shame. If you get your power from doing evil and wicked, that's not true power. But it is 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 it's witchcraft. So when somebody realizes and see what you're doing, call it out. You don't have that same power no more. Cause now people looking at you and seeing, oh yeah, this person really does steal from innocent people. You get what I'm saying? So when you take that scripture and it says, honor your mother and your father, what if your mom is stealing from you? What if your mom cutting your hair, putting it in candles? Not one time, but two times, maybe three times, but definitely two times. First time, it was just like one piece of lock, one lock. The second time, it was five locks. And this is enough to just say, man... I'd rather just suffer and die because I'm not being around these people, but I still put up with it because I don't really have nowhere to go and have no money. So. I can't wait for deliverance to just get away, to have somewhere to stay and just be at peace, man. And then I can make better content, give you all more videos. So you got to look at it like this. If somebody's mom is not doing the will of God. And. Let's say they got.
let's say they got let's say they got like itchy itchy hands and they keep stealing from their own children so do you love your mom and don't do nothing about it you ask her and she lies and say no i didn't do it but you let's say you just put up a camera and you caught her but she denies it and then you know you show her on the camera it'd be even worse because she'll try to make it look like you're wrong for recording her so whatever the case may be you caught her stealing so now how do you honor someone that steals from you not one time but two times not two times but three times not three but four not four but five and every time you say something about it they deny it so how do you honor these people you honor them by not having no fellowship with them because they in darkness and reprove them. And that's what I do. I reprove them. I don't have to talk to you if I'm reproving you. I speak in, right in front of your face and be talking in parables. Well, not in parables. I'll be talking about you, but not saying your name. And you can't do nothing. And people don't like that. So they try to control you. I, the way how I speak is a gift. God gave me a gift to speak about people, but not say their name. To, to avoid confrontation. You could be right in front of me doing something wicked and I start speaking about it, but not saying your name. People don't like that because they know you talking about them. But you're not saying nothing to them. But if I got any bad habits and things that I'm doing that's stopping blessings from coming from God I just ask that the Lord to change it up for me and give me all new habits because your family will block your blessings they're not in the word of God but they got so much to try to pay attention to and look you don't even believe in God so what are you so focused on everything what someone else is doing and they were doing the will of God When I preach, I'm bold. I tell people, get up out them Freemasonic lodges. I say things for a reason. Y'all worshiping the devil. Y'all devil worshipers. I'll be talking about my mom and her boyfriends. They did so much witchcraft on me that only thing I couldn't do is just speak the word of God against them. I'm not going to do nothing evil like they did. They got the cops involved. And then, you know, it's, it's, it's witchcraft. It's Freemasonry. And I'm not dealing with it. I'm speaking out every time. And when they operate in secret, they don't like when you expose them because they can't do what they planned in secret. It's harder. Because when somebody know and have knowledge that you're after them, they're going to be aware and they're going to start documenting everything. And now everybody I document, it'll go back if they get investigated that they all in the same lodge together. They all in the same fraternity. So... This stuff is going to be destroyed in Jesus name because they're not stopping. They was warned many times to stop. They still not stopping. So it's going to be have to have to be more destruction. God is going to destroy things just to protect his servant's life. When it's when it's hundreds of people teaming together, thousands of people teaming together to come up against one person that's not doing no evil, that's not doing no crime. God is going to protect that person and deliver that person, especially when they're doing his will. And them thousand people are going to have to deal with the wrath of God because they didn't fight against that one person because they don't like them for whatever reason. They teamed up because this person was doing the will of God and they wanted to stop it. So they fighting against God. And this is when they own people will start turning on them. This is when they own people start turning on them because you're trying to stop Jesus. You're trying to stop righteousness. When people think that they're looking at me or they stopping me or they don't like me from talking about Jesus Christ. I'm looking at them like, man, you don't own the Bible and all you're trying to do is dim the light. I don't care how much darkness someone is in. If they need light to see, who are you to tell them how to look, how to get the light? Y'all are ignorant and unlearned and dis stable, delusional. I was in darkness. I got the light now. 
I'm not about to sit up here and listen to somebody tell me how to use my light. You ain't, you wasn't with me when I was in darkness. So don't try to control how I'm coming out of the darkness because I'm not all the way out of these evil, wicked, satanic attacks. I'm not in peace, like in my, in the, in the flesh around me as sinners. I'm around a generation of vipers, haters of God, backbiters, mockers. So yeah, all is well. David Clark said, I'm learning. We're going to learn a lot, brother, on this on this today, because we're going to be talking about fringes. We're going to be talking about, did Jesus tell anyone to wear fringes? Did they tell the Gentiles to wear fringes? Did he wear fringes? We're going to learn a lot about that. So Je Jason says, John chapter 4 and verse 44, Jesus himself testified that a prophet hath no honor in his own country. Yup. And that's how it would be. People knew us since we grew up. So they think that like we are the same person since the, the the person they went to school with or something like that. So they they look at everything we've been through in the past and say, no, this shouldn't be him. He shouldn't be doing this because he's still like this. Like you'll have somebody that that might be addicted to whether new ports or herb. And then everybody around him will be judging him like. Man, how can he be preaching the Bible? How's all these people listening to him? And my church pastor been preaching for 20 years. Yeah, that's because you in a false church with a woman preacher and you trying to judge other people and send other people out to judge this other person. They work like my family and that false church. They work. They work with the government and stuff like that. When there was problems in our community, they went to go sit down. The mayor, the mayor, Rob Rollison, he went to go sit down with this false preacher from the Holy Light Church, that woman preacher. And I, when, when I was going through attacks and all of these people trying to cause car accidents with me, I told my mom to have a tell my aunt to go tell the pastor, the woman preacher, let, before I knew that she was false. I told my mom to tell her, let's have a meeting with the mayor because I keep getting harassed by the police. And then next time they do anything unlawfully, then we can have them have them. Oh, it's already a contract that y'all can't come after me unless it's a crime. And then traffic tickets, I guess. But I was going to really have a, I, I, I was, that was in my heart. My mom denied it. She didn't want to tell the mayor. She didn't want to tell the pastor. Matter of fact, the pastor would have told the mayor because I just seen him in the newspaper saying that the mayor met with that pastor of that church. So I'm like, oh, OK, this can help me stop. I already wrote a letter to the mayor. This can help can he respond back. So this can help me get clarity on him knowing who I am. Cause I was claiming my nationality at that time. I told the mayor, if 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 any of one year employees come after me, then I'm going after your indemnity bond and your surety bond. I was telling all these people that this is my land. Y'all are uh, y'all are um aliens and all this stuff. I was into all that, brothers and sisters. So when y'all be talking that Hebrew Israelite stuff, I don't think y'all went as far as I went. That's why I don't I don't have no respect for none of y'all. I love y'all, but I'm not going to respect what you're doing because it's not Christ like I did all that stuff before. You can go ask all the mayors and all that stuff. They know me. They got my letters, the certified mail receipts, all that stuff on my Instagram. So I don't have nothing to try to prove. Y'all be trying to prove yourself to who you claiming something that's in the flesh talking about, you know, your nationality. We going to get through all of that on this teaching. Hopefully the Hebrew Israelites. Every Hebrew Israelite camp getting sackcloth and ashes after this and turn back from their wicked ways stop teaching out the old testament get your life to christ because he loves you he want a relationship with you and i'm not gonna go back and forth with y'all because y'all trying to distort people um walk with christ by teaching these doctrines john chapter 5 and verse 23 that all men should honor the son even as they honor the father he that honoreth not the son honoreth not the father which hath sent him so you can't say you believe in God, but you don't know about Jesus Christ. You don't believe in Christ. That's a disservice to God. All right. So Ephesians chapter six, verse one through four, it says, children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor thy father and mother, which is the first commandment with promise 
that it may be well with thee. And so I want to give you a little bit more clarity on that, Josh, son. You said children obey your parents. So it say when I was a child, I thought like a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish deeds. So when you a child, your your mother and your and your dad is taking care of you. They change your pampers and show you how to um, use the bathroom and stuff or whatever. Show you how to shower. When you a child, you think like a child. But when you become a man, you put away childish deeds. When you a child, you don't know about adultery. This stuff got to be taught to you. So I wasn't even a babe in Christ over a year ago. I wasn't even a babe in Christ. Now I can say I'm a babe in Christ. This is my almost my first year, two more months. So I started to think like a man and I didn't look at it like, oh, yeah, your mother is the one who birthed you. No, Jesus said my mother is who do the will of my father. And I'm saying the same thing. So if my mother is living ungodly, committing adultery, that's a sin. Being a drunkard, that's a sin. Then that ain't my mother. That's just a woman who birthed me. Right? My real mother is the one who's living the word of God, preaching the word of God. If she, women can't preach in the church, but they up here and prophesying and giving scriptures and healing men's souls and healing the women and the sister's souls. It's a lot of sisters on YouTube. I don't agree with them all, but they preaching and they saying prophetic word. It's a lot of these sisters up here on YouTube that's making videos about God. So them are my sisters. Them are my mothers. You get what I'm saying? They do the will of my father. It might not be accurate. They might not be quoting the scriptures and they might just be talking. But still, they doing something righteous. They're not talking about evil. You get what I'm saying? It's hard. I'm drilling this word into sinners heads. Y'all not around sinners like that. Y'all go to church and hang around people that believe in God. I'm around sinners, people that are mocking and don't believe in God. Talking about stop running up on people with your belief. Man, I wish I still had them text message, brothers and sisters, because I would have put all up there. Just erase, like, just don't don't show the number, but I showed y'all the text message. And I would have showed the first three numbers of the phone. Because that's blasphemy. When you when you took someone to church as a young, when, when I was young, my mom took me to church with them women preachers. And gave me money and told me to put this in the um, collection plate. They had a collection plate when I was going to church. So they had passed it around in Holy Light Church. And then my mom would give me money either before we go to the church or while we sitting in the church. And that's just so superstitious. It's disrespect. If we was really giving this money to God, it's superstitious and it's not truthful. I don't have no money. I'm giving grudgingly and out of necessity. Because I really don't want to give this money because it's not mine. I really want to take it and go buy candy or something, whatever I want with it. I don't get no allowance like that. So now we go to church. You want me to get this money? That stuff was all false, brothers and sisters. And that'll trouble you right there. That offends the little ones because you feeling like, why is my mom giving me $10? She being all nice to me. Oh, I got to put it in the collection plate. But she ain't giving me nothing for me before we came here. You get what I'm saying? I ain't getting no big bag of candy or no McDonald's or nothing. We just came here and she forced me to come here. I didn't even really want to come. Y'all know what I'm saying is facts. Y'all all felt like this. You never understood what was happening in church. You didn't understand what they was talking about. You didn't know how to read the Bible. You was too young. 11, 12, 13. Like, you get what I'm saying? Some of y'all, if you're taught at a young age, like 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, you will learn when you 11, 12, 13. You will know what the scriptures mean. But I didn't. You have young seven, eight, nine year old preachers right now. So but it's just that me, I wasn't brought up in the word. So it took me a little longer to get it. And that's why I'm like a baby now, because I never knew all this information that about Christ and about Jesus and about God. I never knew all this stuff. I only was deceived by people like them Hebrew Israelites saying, yeah, you know, he's black and all this stuff. That stuff is 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 is, is cripples people's soul. That really handicapped people's soul because it stops them from getting the truth. You teaching out the revelations. You ain't even teaching about his bloodline, about where he came from or who his. You get what I'm saying? 
Y'all just say what y'all want to say about my holy righteous master. So I'm about to end this live and we're going to come back and go right to work. I'll give y'all a, 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 a picture of this. So if you want to screenshot it and study it with your children on your own time, some of y'all. Some of y'all are better teachers than me, and I can't teach your children better than you can teach them. I don't know what where, where they need extra patience and stuff like that. At. I don't know what they need extra teachings and get what I'm saying, but you know. So screenshot this. If you want to share it with your little ones, you have it right here. Hold on. This is just on fringes and garments. But I'm reading every scripture. We're going to get through all of this. So it's a lot, as you can see. Yeah, Quarrel said the shelter would be a better temporary option than living with family that's willing to sacrifice their own. I thought about the shelters. Only thing is. With them shelters, it's like it's not the cleanest. And then you got all of these migrants that's in them shelters. So. It's, it's you dealing with a lot of violence. If you got a car, you'll just be better off sleeping in your car. No, it's nasty in there. The shower's not clean. So you'll be better off sleeping in your car, getting a hotel every three days and just living like that than living in a shelter. You don't know if you can trust them people in there. It's it's just like. It's like prison to me. Sim, may peace be unto you, brother. Christ is the only way. So let me handle my business. And when I come back, we going straight in. I got a brother Drex left a comment. He got Matthew chapter 10, verse 37. Matthew chapter 10, verse 37. We'll read this real quick. And then I have another stream I want to try to get through later. He that loveth father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And he that loveth son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And he that taketh not his cross and follow after me is not worthy of me. See, so here it go right here. Jesus Christ himself. He telling you that there will be sheep among wolves. And we got to be wise as serpents and harmless as doves. He's telling us that in Matthew chapter 10, start at verse 16. So it tells you that he didn't come to send peace on earth, not peace, but a sword. He said, I come to set a man at variance against his father and a daughter against her mother and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And a man's foes shall be they of his own household. So you will love God. You'll be worshiping him. You'll be doing rebukes, whatever the word of God tells you to do. And you'll have people around you that are troubled. They're plotting. They're talking amongst each other about everything that you're doing. They think it's evil because they're being held accountable. They can't lie to people and steal from people no more. So they got to make your good look evil so they can continue to mock God and be rebellious and go to them churches with them women preachers. Man, I came so strong at people. Once I seen that they wasn't really living and walking according to the word, I didn't care how people feel about me. I don't care if I don't know the whole Bible. I know what y'all doing ain't real. So I, I started to call them a cult. My sister told me when I was walking around with my turbans on and stuff, she said I should join a cult like Craig Mack. And that was right after Craig Mack died. You know how bad that hurt me? And my family already betrayed me and disowned me, was trying to talk like I'm something different because I was a Muslim. And I was wearing these turbans wrapped up around my head and stuff like that. So my sister, they would like they would come and they would ask me little stuff. She said, yeah, you should join a cult like Craig Mack. And then right like I, I had I had that put me down in the spirit. Like I felt so bad about like Why would she say this? But all right. Come to find out one of my cousins is an Eastern star down south that was in the military. Her husband is a Mason. They, she, my sister all close with him, I guarantee, with her, 
I guarantee you she ain't never tell my cousin down south that. Well, she from Philly, but she stay down south. She ain't never tell her that. I guarantee you that um, you judging people and telling me that I should join a cult like Craig, Wack, Craig Mack, even though this was like five or six years ago, it still hurts me. But I forgave it. But I'm a, it's my testimony. Now, fast forward, look how God works. I find out that this woman that's a friend of my sister's, she is in the false church as well as my aunt and my cousin. So when I see that woman that's a friend of my sister, I told her, you know you ain't supposed to be going to that false church with that woman preacher. You see, they people got mad at me and I got put in the hospital not too long after that because I just had to fire God on me. And everywhere I went, I would be preaching and standing on the word, rebuking people that's doing evil. If, you know, I was just. I was just like, man, I, you can't nobody control how I'm being moved by God. So they they lied. They set up false witness. And. But they had already showed their intentions in there and how they feel about me. This is why. When you leave your country, I mean, your city or whatever, they have certain groups and masons that watch over people and they talk amongst each other. So if you go to another place, they're going to know where you at. They know you. They monitor you. But if you don't move around too freely, they can't they can't do nothing. They come and start watching you. You could watch them back and complain on them. You could call the Justice Department and tell them that they doing terrorist attacks. They doing um, they, they targeting people, they discriminating, they profiling people. And you want them to be looked upon because they're not operating lawful. You can you can call the cop station and say, is it a crime over here? Then record it and say, or did anything happen over here? Y'all keep riding over here for whatever reason. If they say no, you can use that to call the Justice Department and say, I don't feel comfortable. I feel harassed. Here's my evidence. Ain't no crime over here. So they got to explain and show and prove now why y'all keep coming over here around this man. See, I know how to hold the devil accountable. I don't know if y'all all have this knowledge and wisdom, but all glory be to God. I've been through too much that I just started to learn how to fight and defend myself. Stop crying and, and trying to fight them back and fight in the spirit. Real. All glory be to God. That's why I say he would never forsake you. He'd give you wisdom and knowledge and all things. But that's so true, brother Drex. He that loveth father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And he that loveth son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. That don't mean that we're going to be evil to our mothers or that don't mean you're supposed to be evil to your son or your daughter and treat them bad. That just mean that you love God more. You love his commandments. You love what he say. I don't argue with my mom. I'm not mean to my mom or no, nobody that I know that don't believe in God. You get what I'm saying? It's just that I cut. I I rather not communicate with you. I rather not talk with you. I don't want to have no fellowship with you. Cause I'm gonna be rebuking you. So let's just keep it peaceful. You handle your business, live your life. I handle my business, live my life. If you don't believe in God, I don't want to be around you, but I have to be around you cause I don't have nowhere else to go. You get what I'm saying? You telling me stop running up on people with my belief, but you're not telling your boyfriend to take the Freemasonic sticker off his car. You're not telling him I can't mess with you cause you're my God sister, ex-husband. You see, you're not telling your other boyfriend that I can't mess with you because your wife is still living. I don't care if she's sick or not. See, y'all want to talk down on me. I'm living holy, righteous and godly. You can only point out one little thing that you see. Oh, he getting his pop out of selling man on. That's not breaking the commandments. These people out here breaking God commandments and saying, stop running up on people with your belief. They are dangerous to our salvation. And I got to live around this. So it wore off on me. All the witchcraft attacks, I started to, to, to respond back. And then it, it started to injure me and hurt me because I'm fighting back with people that trying to destroy me instead of just leaving and moving and, and just talking to God, calling on God and testifying and te giving my testimony. When, I, when my hair was first cut, I didn't really know Christ like that. I tried to take matters in my own hand. I said what I felt like should happen to the people. I told them it was spiritual war. You'd never supposed to cut nobody here. You're not no creator. 
I don't care if a mom birthed the son and she think that she can cut her son here because it's her son. That's not your son here. It's God's son here. And then you don't believe in God. You ain't got no right to touch what God created. You didn't create me. God created me. My dad ain't create me. I'm not calling my dad, telling him happy Father's Day. God created me. When, when Mother's Day come, I'm going to send my mom the scriptures. Who is my mother and father, but who do the will of my father in heaven? And, and whoever whoever forsake mother, I'm going to send her all that on Mother's Day and say happy Mother's Day. That's how we celebrate these fake ass holidays. We put scriptures in them and turn them back into holy days. I don't I don't bow down and celebrate Satan's kingdom. I'm just that's what another thing why a lot of your family will turn against y'all once they see you start walking in truth. But you will be tempted. They gonna know you need the money and they gonna still give you them cards to see if you're gonna take it. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. I didn't celebrate the holidays, but I took the cards. I ain't go around and eat the food and try to be with the family. But my mom gave me a card. I took it. I needed it. I know that's bad. God forgive me. When you don't celebrate something, you just don't want nothing to do with it at all. But I was just so I need that I took the uh little little card. And I felt bad because I'm like, I'm being a hypocrite. You know what I'm saying? So I'm here confessing now. Dan Bo, I see your comment, but we don't talk about those things in this in this live stream. So if you do want to help and you do want to help, you can email me and we'll talk about this on Instagram because it's YouTube. I use this channel to talk about God and promote God. A lot of people come over here and try to say what they did and what they used to do. And I get it. You, It's making it seem like you're trying to share your testimony and people looking at it that's in this live stream right now, it might look like I'm erasing their testimony, but I'm keeping this platform holy, righteous, and godly because there's certain words that people can use that can stop this channel from getting promoted and recommended. So I'm taking it out for the sake of more souls being saved. I'm not blocking you from the channel. I'm just removing that. I'm just removing, oh, you said you, look, he said, I can't, support this channel anymore take care of my friends god bless all right dan bo so if you can't support this channel there's no need to come and announce it who are you you get what i'm saying you act like you somebody that ever did something or or we benefited or was edified from what you did you ain't do nothing else than nobody else that's all you talking about you can't look look at it like this bro and sisters if I seen a crackhead that was on a corner smoking crack and I said, I can't support this this guy because he's doing this and he, he want to live for God. He want to learn about the Bible, but I can't teach him about the Bible. That stuff make me want to cry, brothers and sisters, to show you how evil and wicked people are. I'm not going to call you racist, brother. I know you are a Caucasian man or European, but I'm just going to tell you straight up. You're an alien to God. You never seen God and you never knew God. You don't have love in your heart. I'm not asking nobody to support me. I'm telling people to glorify God. So you never brought a T-shirt from me. So what are you talking about? You can't support this channel. I never got an email from you and sent you a, a T-shirt. I never sold none of them yet. So what you talking about? You ain't supporting nothing. You were supporting your own, your own ignorance because I'm giving you knowledge and wisdom. You wasn't teaching me. I was teaching you. So I don't know what you talking about. You can't support this channel. This is what they trying to do, y'all. They trying to make me look like the bad guy for living freely and not hiding and being bold in the Lord. I'm strong in the Lord. I don't care what none of y'all say. God is my judge, not you. So. You could say you can't support something because you work for the government. Only people that act like that, that try to control you and not lead you to Christ, not pray for you, not have humility, not have compassion. That's like me saying, man, I, I can't give no money to the homeless no more because they bums and they outside on the street corner and they just begging for money. You get what I'm saying? 
That's not Christ-like. That's not the love of God. That's looking down on somebody. You think you're better than somebody. If you truly had Christ in you and you had God in you, you will work with that person and say, hey, man, I can help you get over this because Christ is stronger than whatever you're going through. And let me let me help you. You ain't willing to help. The people that sent me emails is trying to tell me what to do and what not to do. They're not showing me by how the word of God that it say that I shouldn't be doing this. You only saying what you think and you feel. So every time y'all try that, I'm going to show y'all that that stuff is not biblical. What y'all doing, you making up stuff and adding to the word. And I'm the only one that came out, all glory be to God. I'm one of the only ones that come out and show y'all, man, getting your pot pie to sell a man on is not defiling your body. And you can't tell me that you're not going to support me, but go take Tylenols and Advils when you get a headache. Y'all are hypocrites. You see, the same people, when he get it, when his nose start running, he going to go right to the store and get some Tylenol, brothers and sisters. So let them be hypocrites because their children will be their judges. I wish you the best. May peace be unto you. You're hypocrite. You're, you're, uh, you're false prophet, false liar. I'm not false because I'm showing y'all everything and I'm not hiding nothing, but I'm doing it respectfully and humbly. And people know that they can't accuse nothing that they can't show and prove. So it makes them mad. This could be frankincense and myrrh. You don't know what's going on. You're just making up stuff because you got a heart that divides wicked imaginations. Even though I'm being humble and open, man, you can't prove nothing. So how can you say something that you can't prove? Wouldn't that be false witness? If you think I'm a false prophet, why would you think I'm doing something that you can't see? See, that show y'all how evil y'all are. But back to the thing. If I seen somebody that was homeless on the street corner and they said, man, teach me the Bible, but they smoking crack. And I said, man, I can't teach you because every time I see you, you got this pipe in your mouth. Who am I to deny somebody from God's word? Who am I to say I won't help you because you homeless? Who am I to say I won't feed you because you're, you're dirty and you're begging? Like, who am I? Who are you? The Lord rebuked thee. Go back straight to the pits of hell where you came from. We don't need you over here. You ain't representing Christ. That ain't Christ like you will know them by their fruits. The Lord rebuked thee. You never supported me in the first place. Never brought a T-shirt or nothing. So as far as I'm concerned, stop. Go back and try to figure out another way how you could cause division because Satan manipulates. He comes here and try to do the work and of the devil through deceiving people. That's going to come and get the good news. They don't want y'all to get this good news. Yo, I could see if you said, I'm going to take away my 10,000 people that I brought to this channel to support you. And then I just lost 10,000 subscribers. Maybe I, I might want to um say, well, well, we'll show and prove. But I don't give a damn how you feel. God don't care how you feel. You probably a sinner. So go ahead. With that wicked heart, you're going to have to answer to God anyway. Your heart ain't right. Second Peter chapter three, verse nine. And you can't can't nobody in this chat or anyone that disagree with me. Show me in the scriptures where God said getting the Popeye to sell a man on is defiling your temple. Y'all can't show it. Y'all just act like the government because y'all want to control and regulate. You know, they made it legal and then they started locking up a lot of people that was trying to make a living. They shut down a lot of stores that was doing something that y'all made legal. They are criminals. How y'all going to say something is legal and then lock people or give them fines and close down their businesses and stuff? Y'all just want to control it and make all the money off of it. it. Man, that's wicked. And God put it on the plant. God put this stuff. Go read Genesis. See, I'm fighting for what I know is true. Y'all are not going to like it. But what about them people that got cancer that got to go get prescriptions and get they pop out of cell a man on? Y'all not being righteous. You don't know what people are going through. You ain't asked me what kind of infirmities I be having. Y'all are fake. You ain't never talked to me privately. So y'all fake. Let's go on to Genesis. Not y'all, but that dude that came in here and everybody with that type of spirit. Stay far away from this channel. You can watch, but don't comment because you're going to get put to shame. First Genesis chapter 29. And God said, behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed, which is upon the face of all the earth and every tree. And the which is the fruit of a tree yielding seed to you, it shall be for me. So can't none of y'all go 
and tell me when we read Genesis that that don't say what it say. We come in directly out the Bible so they can get mad and say what they want. But I'm teaching the children how to know the truth and rightly divide this word. I got an uncle and his wife is a preacher. And when that Drake song came on, God's plan, God's plan. He was had his bottle in his hand and he was jumping all around. I didn't judge him. And I didn't even wasn't walking with Christ then. And I still won't judge him. You'll know them by their works. I don't know his works. All I just see is this might be his way he worshiped God. I'm not going to take away from somebody. Only when I see like it's, 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 it's coming in between the, the way the gospel is being preached. Like they out here preaching and doing stuff like I've never seen them preaching. I just tell you he false. His wife is false. That's my uncle. I ain't got nothing to hide. I forsook my family. I'm enjoying God's creation, brother. What we just read about in Genesis chapter one, verse 29, it says, go to Genesis chapter one, verse 29, everybody in the King James version Bible, please, please follow along with us so we can learn about is um, from the beginning and then tell them to show you a command where it says this is wrong in God's eye or it's to find your body. Y'all are making God a liar. Y'all going to have to answer up to this. Don't curse yourself and your family and pass down this generational curse. Telling people things that you can't prove. And God said, behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed, which is upon the face of all the earth. If you don't get Genesis, then you don't even need to be teaching Bible, which is upon the face of all the earth in every tree in the which is the fruit of a tree yielding seed to you. It shall be for me. I'm smiling right now because I learned so much and I'm teaching and, and nobody can prove me wrong. These dudes been in the church for 20 years. Some of them got their grandfather passed it down to him like T.D. Jakes made his daughter a preacher. Y'all asking me who ordained y'all? Who ordained me? Who ordained T.D. Jake's daughter? That's what y'all need to be trying to figure out. This ain't no, like, I'm not. This is not a 501c3 where I got a contract with the board of directors and they conduct and control every topic I talk about and tell me, yeah, hang up this, this gay flag on your church. Man, this is not that. I don't know what y'all think this is. That sister thought I was going to talk about the firmament. I told her that I don't sit right with my spirit. She got mad. See, I don't do what this God don't want me to do. I do whatever God is moving me to speak on it and do. So that's all. Earthling, I'm going to remove your comment, brother, because we don't talk about those things in this comment section. You said I love Snoop. We're not talking about Snoop over here. Snoop, Snoop got to repent, too. That's how naysayers are they they one they the ones psalms talk about the dark ones flipping stuff uh-huh that's that's true Derek. kishni maharaj peace be unto you why are you hiding? What are you doing? I'm getting ready to start this stream so we could talk about these fringes and these garments that these Hebrew Israelites claim that they think it's in the law that everybody supposed to be wearing fringes and garments. And I came to show you that the devil is a liar. I got to find this song with this Hebrew brother. And he said, I'm wearing fringes that I got from Epsi or something like that. He said, right before my wife left me or something like that it's obviously she might have left you because this doctrine you pushing i'm about I'm, I'm gonna find a song they all prideful he said he talked about a basketball player that posted on instagram then he said shalom and he said um what'd he say he said numbers 13 something something i'm wearing fringes that i got from sd so I'm just going to point out that little thing and I'm going to show you they they believe in this stuff. They all wear the fringes, but God never told me to wear fringes. That's all I'm saying. 
I wasn't born in Israel. Y'all can't deny the facts. Truth is truth. Sound doctrine is sound doctrine. We're going to find this song and I'm going to come right back and I'm going I'm to see. I see a lot of y'all young sisters that's Christian artists following these dudes, liking all they posts and stuff like that. I don't see Kid Lee commenting over on my videos. But she all liking all this brother's posts on Instagram. I'm about to destroy these teachings in Jesus name. Watch. Y'all can't show me what God said. Getting your Popeye to sell a man on is a sin. Y'all just mad because y'all can't prove what y'all think y'all know. <laughs> it make y'all real angry when y'all been studying the Bible for years and claim y'all living for God. But somebody come along that only know uh, he don't know nothing. And and just come in and start putting people to shame like, no, they can't have that. We got to just make jokes about them, talk about do whatever we could to try to turn the people against them because we can't prove them wrong with the Bible. Because he this is one of the most strongest, impactful. Preaching that been around for a while. I'm so young. All glory be to God. And I'm able to see and get these revelation about these scriptures and be able to rightly divide them. This haven't been done and to call out people who've been pushing doctrines and deceiving people and subverting people's souls. This haven't been done for a long time. Everybody just came in to do to steal from God, get what they want and just live peacefully. I don't care whether I like I, let me not say that, but. Man, I speak every day like I don't know when 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 it's going to be my last. I'm not here to uh, build a fortune. I don't got no children where I'm trying to pass down. Uh, wealth to or nothing like that. I'm just here to really, really live and give all my heart to God. Y'all are fake. Y'all live and give a little bit so you could take from God and give to your children. This ain't that. That's why my spirit is completely different than most people because I'm not thinking about my children or my wife because I don't have none. I'm thinking about me and God. That's why I am keep telling y'all I'm on God's side. Some of y'all won't even do certain stuff and say certain stuff because you don't want people looking at your children in a bad way so you become weak and compromised and that's that's good because whoever his bite his tongue or hold his life or keep his life if you can refrain your tongue me i can't refrain my tongue but i'm not speaking anything that's of satan i'm speaking life you ask me, what are you doing? I'm doing something real humble. I'm doing something to show that I fear God. I'm doing something to show that I respect everybody that's viewing this video. And I'm doing something to be decently and orderly. That's what I'm doing, brother. And I'm getting ready to come back and start preaching about these fringes and garments. You said, you said you could not be preaching and sending at the same time, brother. You take this channel down. I'm judging you because you're doing this and preaching about God. It's either you with God or not. I'm a sinner. So if you're a sinner, you don't know nothing because you're looking on an outward appearance. The Bible says, judge not according to appearance but judge righteous judgment. So they're telling you how they feel, what they think. So yeah, what I do, it disturbs the demons. A lot of these comments about he said they're not coming from wicked people. They just lack understanding. Leah Mahmoudi, may peace be unto you. Now, I'm going to answer your question, Brother Drex. It's not that they lack understanding. It's that they don't know that we are in a world where they children get, get, go get a headache and they take Pepto-Bismol for their children. So you sitting up here telling somebody what to do while preaching. God don't care about how anybody feel about when he's using somebody. That's like saying when the disciples 
cut off somebody's ear in the Bible. Remember when they came to arrest Jesus? Peter, Jesus told Peter, thou art Peter, and upon this rock, I'm going to build my church. So Peter, the church was built on Peter. Peter pulled out the sword and chopped off the high priest servant ear. So he did harm to another man. Which one of y'all are physically being harmed? Everybody still follow Peter. They still listen to his teachings. Moses killed a man and then gave the Ten Commandments. And y'all all say keep the commandments, right? So are y'all saying that y'all think God, you don't believe in God? When you see, you got to watch how you judge, brother. Because you telling somebody don't preach. That's like saying, all right, well, I'm going to tell God that he was wrong for using Moses after he killed a man. So that if, if we leave it up to y'all, we wouldn't even have the Bible. I'm not going to let God use Noah because he got drunk. See? Some of these people, they could have still been doing certain things, but God never talk, talked about it. He just told you they good. So, man, I don't want to hear nothing. You seen Peter chopped off the high priest servant heir and y'all all follow him and name y'all church St. Peter's. So that means none of these Catholic fake ass, fake ass priests that be molesting the children. They should never have their church name St. Peter's Church. Take all them church names down because Peter chopped the man air off and he he could have killed that man. See, I didn't never hurt nobody. But that's documented. Everybody witnessed that. Y'all all believe in the Bible, right? Why y'all ain't saying nothing to St. Peter's Church? You mad at the truth. See? Every time y'all come around and talk that crazy stuff and say, why are you doing this and that? Because God is using me and he's not using you. That's why, you fool. And you here watching and you a sinner. So you could, you know God is using me. Because he said, I came to call sinners to repentance. And you are cheap. You are a sinner. I ain't going to say you're chief, but you are a sinner. Look, the Bible says, judge not that ye be not judged. God will test everything you love to see if God is our first love as he did Abraham and all. They forsook all and followed Jesus. God restore. Yeah, people see that we already forsook all and we already following God. I'm here every day worshiping God more hours than I'm than I'm sleeping. Well, not more hours than I'm sleeping, but. More hours than I do anything else throughout the day, I'm worshiping God. People can't do this. People got jobs. They got to live their regular life. So they're going to hate someone that forsook everything. And, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm taking losses right now. I'm the one that got less than 100 in my account, can't pay my bills. But y'all are happy. Y'all got homes and you comfortable. You ain't got to live in no shelter. You ain't living in no shelter, but it's easy for you to say these things without offering help to people. It shows where your heart is at. And that's why I get y'all out of here immediately because we, I do these videos like test runs. This is kind of like my daily therapy, I guess. I come up here, talk about God and everybody who disagree, get up out of here and get blocked. You telling me how to run what I'm doing, how God is using me, but you're not telling me how God is using you. So we can't fellowship together because you in darkness. The Bible say don't have no fellowship with the works of darkness, but rather reprove them. So I'd rather not explain nothing to y'all. I keep my tongue and, and remain righteous because my works is righteous. My heart is righteous. And as long as I stay away from people who I would be subverted, I would be lower in my knowledge and wisdom that God gave me to participate in conversations that's ungodly that doesn't glorify god but looks at the outward appearance and don't look at the heart that's like saying man i could tell you don't love god because you a bum and you ain't washed in three days these people are so wicked you a bum and you going through stress so you got a new port in your hand and you trying to preach to people about how god is good and saying god bless that's like saying People who's who's robbers and stealers shouldn't say pray to God or believe in God because they're bad people. The way how y'all think is of the devil. And I love to glorify God 
and shame the devil. So that's why I show a lot of y'all comments to show y'all that y'all don't have no power. You operating in dark magic and black magic. And if you don't repent and turn from your wicked ways, you will die and go to hell in your sins. Some of y'all might die today or tomorrow in y'all sins. That's how real it is. God is not playing with this wickedness. Yeah, he give you mercy and grace, but he say, touch not my anointed, do my prophets no harm. What y'all doing right now is trying to cause harm, but you won't get away with it. I hope that your heart change before God come and start bringing down wrath for, for coming up against his servants. We can prove that the earth is flat. That's that's good, brother Andy Sire. And I'm not going to say that that's not a good topic. If it's in the Bible, then maybe people should teach it. But I'm not going to teach it. I don't see no salvation in it. I don't hear Jesus saying to go preach to the gospel or go preach that the earth is flat. That's not the gospel. So when that sister sent it in my email, I know it was a good topic. It, not not a good topic. It's a nice topic. None good with God. Well, that's dealing with the word of God. So it is could be called a good. It's it's a it's an OK topic, but I didn't want to cover that because that ain't going to save people's souls. You see people up here telling me how I shouldn't be preaching because they see me doing certain things and they're judging, but not righteous judgment. Because if I could see if they say, yo, you shouldn't be preaching because you are telling people that that the commandments say that you can go steal and you telling people that the commandments say that you can kill. If somebody lied to you, I never told nobody they can kill if somebody lied to them. I never told nobody to lie. I never told nobody not to take care of the poor and the homeless. I never told people not to have a heart of God and a, and a Christ spirit, the spirit of Christ. I never told people nothing less than that. So how would you take something like like I told y'all, Stevie Wonder is blind. They can't see me. It's a lot of blind children. And the people in wheelchairs, they don't care what I'm doing because they can't see. And some of them are so weak. It, it doesn't hurt them by what I'm doing. Long as I'm strong with the way how I'm preaching and it can make them feel good. Like my brother Jay Bones on my Instagram from New York, from the Bronx. He believe in, that he can walk and I believe he going to walk too in Jesus name. So how are you going to try to weaken somebody's faith that's getting up here? That's fighting for the weak, the crippled, the broken hearted. And you're wicked ass. I don't care if you a cop too. You need this gospel. I don't care if you a correctional officer, the president, the mayor. I don't care who you is. That's why y'all all watch me. All y'all secretly watching me in y'all secret chambers. It's like I'm in the temple teaching every day like Jesus, but they can't ask me questions and be righteous. So they come sideways and try to tempt me like the Pharisees did. And that's why I'm just coming at everybody because I don't know who's the real enemy. I'm, it's hard to detect who's really behind a lot of this. But I know it's the same people from my past. It has to be. This one person that I told about my channel and now they got all these people coming up telling me. That's why I was certain people coming from Yonkers and stuff like that because she from Yonkers. She grew up in Spring Valley. I'm going to keep talking about you now because you it's either you. I'm taking you out the way. And if it ain't you. Then I already talked about how wicked my people in my own household is. I took that out the way. And if it's the cops, then they going they they it, they hurt just by seeing this truth and hearing me live for God. They you know, they've been trying to set up so much gang stalking tactics around my neighborhood with the cops involved, many different agencies trying to send people to get in accidents. A lot of these cars get out their cop cars and start riding a regular car and trying to cause accidents with people. And when you start taking a license plates and exposing them, they don't like it. You're not in a cop car, you're in a private car. Even if you was in a cop car, take your license plate. Check this out, brothers and sisters. I'm really just standing on the word, that's it. If any that discussion with me, email me. You can show me where in the 10 commandments it's a sin to get your pot pie to sell a man on. I just showed you in Genesis. Yeah, Felice Harris, he's definitely using me to share the good news. It's that God didn't come and change me in certain areas where you want me to be changed. 
He changed me in the areas where he wanted me to be changed. So as far as my heart, listening to that ungodly music, glorifying all these rap rap songs and all these rappers, I would glorify them by blasting their music every day and getting my Popeye the Cellar Man on and being proud and happy to listen to that music, bopping my head all hard, dancing and all that. This is all ungodly, though. So God changed my heart from listening to that and being deceived by that. He changed my heart by wanting to defend myself against people. I just let vengeance belong to the Lord. I just give a testimony. Y'all don't like my testimonies, but you wouldn't like me if I responded. But it's people that live like that, that if you do anything wrong to them that they don't like, they will respond. I just don't let people try to control my mind because last time I checked, this ain't no prison. I don't care how much y'all say. Well, you got to do things this way. Ain't nobody got to do nothing. No way. God gave us all a mind to think. It's either you're going to think about his word and live it and love it or not. You despise God when you come and try to tell somebody what they doing when they preach in his word. You ain't saying nothing about Peter when he chopped off that man ear. If that's the case, don't follow the Bible because I didn't hurt nobody and physically harm nobody. Peter chopped off the high priest's servant heir when they came to arrest Jesus. So if you believe that people can't preach that, that do sin, don't keep none of the commandments because Moses, he smote one of the Egyptians. He looked both ways to see if somebody was around, buried the Egyptian underground, and then wrote the Ten Commandments. If you don't believe that people that's doing certain things and these are murders and these are Moses murdered a man in the um, Old Testament and then Peter chopped off the man air so if you don't believe that you can't follow God because these dudes did these or people are doing these things then you can't follow nothing in the Bible so don't even talk to me about God and I believe everything in the Bible but I can show and prove I'm proving right now that you don't and I love you still brother about anything i love talking to the sinners y'all my strongest um ways that i can teach is to the sinners because most of them don't look down on you and they won't try to use scriptures and twigs twist them they don't know so y'all i love talking to the sinners so it helped because once i show y'all and prove what i'm saying it'll help y'all faith increase and y'all be able to defend yourselves against people in your family that tried to look down on you and say, well, how can you love God and do all this? And they call you names. They call you addicts and all this stuff. How am I an addict? And you take Tylenol when you get a headache. Matter of fact, you take Tylenol and go to go to bed every night. Like some of these people are wicked. We're not reading no Holy Quran, brother. If Islam was true, You'll be learning about it and living it. You will be over here on a Bible teaching channel over here telling us about Islam after we did all these teachings to show you how Muhammad was deceived. Ah, oh, man. We showed y'all Muhammad was deceived. So if you thought Islam was true, you will be in the mosque praying right now, telling it, telling you will be praying that prayer when Muhammad told y'all to tell God to have mercy on him like he had on Abraham. Muhammad was a fool for that. I, the Lord rebuke every Muslim living in this generation. If you a Muslim and you living right now in this generation, share this video with at least about five to ten people. I'm going to give you knowledge and wisdom of God. When Muhammad told y'all to pray five times, that's not biblical. That go against Jesus' prophecies. When Muhammad told y'all to say the Salah prayer, he stole that from the Bible. When Muhammad told y'all to pray that the Lord have mercy on him, like how he had on Abraham, he admit that Abraham was a true man of God, but he admit that he wasn't really doing no spectacular miracle works and he was afraid that he would go to hell. That's why he said he Muhammad told all the Muslims to pray that. The Lord have mercy on him like how he had on Abraham because Muhammad thought he was going to go to hell before he died. He was afraid. Remember, he had just lost a war 
all this stuff happened. I don't know when they wrote the how he wrote the Quran and at what time, but you got to take his whole life into consideration. He was hurt real bad after that war. And then they just he just got sick and died. But y'all trying to talk like Muhammad and exalt him. I don't see nobody on the Breakfast Club calling out Muhammad and Muslims. They don't talk about the Muslim rappers and talk about their religion, do they? See, this not one of your bishops that you used to wearing all the Louis Vuitton and stuff like that, trying to show off and, and stealing the church people money. This is something real. When y'all see somebody really got love for God, I don't look like I'm 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 doing like a business. So I don't have like all these fancy stuff. So you think you could pick down on me? Go back to Bishop Lamar Whitehead. See how many people was calling him out. I guarantee you ain't nobody was saying nothing to that man. He only probably went to church on Sunday, took some tithes and offerings and stole from all them people, allegedly. But y'all got all this to say the feds came and got him. Ain't nobody coming to do nothing to me because I ain't doing nothing wrong. I announce where I'm at any time. I really was going to try to go somewhere this weekend and say who want to meet me there, but. I don't think it's enough real loyal people to start doing stuff like that. It's a lot of people that have jealousy and envy, envy and are watching me for the wrong reasons or watching to try to tempt me. So I don't think I should be doing stuff like that right now. But I can gather up all of the real people that. Maybe I don't know, maybe I might have members on this channel one day. It's all up. See how God works. But I know we taking out all tactics of the devil. Y'all Hebrew Israelites is mad. I don't know if this coming from the Hebrews. The dude told me, all right, I'm going to stop. Dude. I'm gonna, Man, y'all dudes better stop wearing fringes. I know that. When I'm done with this video, I don't want to see no more Hebrew Israelites wearing fringes. Israelites. Good morning, Jim Songs. May peace be unto you. Hope all is well, my brother. We had to take a few people out this chat. Thank you, Brother Drex. So Matthew chapter 15 and verse 18. But those things which proceed out of the mouth come forth from the heart and they defile the man. So y'all hear that the things that proceed out of the mouth come forth from the heart and they defile a man how can i defile myself with something that's not coming out of my heart y'all make no sense so you're gonna make god a liar you talking about i'm not a sinner and i'm telling you don't do this while you preaching that's the devil talking to you brother you ain't speaking scriptures you just you leaning on your own understanding god said there's a way that seemed right to man yeah but the end and thereof are the ways of death. He said, don't lean on your own understanding. Trust in the Lord in all your ways and he will direct thy paths. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. So why are you living by bread alone? You eat your food and go to bed and go to sleep like somebody that lived like a devil worshiper. What's the difference between you and somebody that don't love God? You claim you a sinner, but you love God and you in here trying to tell me what to do, but you don't live by God's word. So what's the difference between you and a child molester? You ain't no better than a child molester, the dude that left that comment. I'm going to come at y'all strong. I ain't playing with y'all. What you thought this was? The Catholic Church? I'm not here preaching with the Catholic Church. And I'm weak like them priests that just want to make you feel like they're going to forgive everything. Man, I'm coming right back with the truth. Everything y'all say is you're going to be put to shame because you rising up against me trying to judge me. And I'm going to condemn you. You're going to be put to shame. Just like the brother Drek said. And to anybody that agree with that brother, post a comment right now to prove what we're saying is wrong. Because we showing God's word, not how we feel like y'all do. That'll lead to your own death. There's a way that seemed right to man. 
but the end thereof are the ways of death. Y'all can go look that up in the scriptures. Go Google it since y'all Google everything else. You Googled how to how to act like a Christian. You ain't read it from the Bible, you fool. For out of the heart proceed evil thoughts, murders, adulteries, fornications, thefts, false witness, blasphemies. See, y'all become false witnesses against God in his word. When you say something that's coming inside a man's mouth is defiling him, God said, for what come out of the man's mouth defile him. Huh? This is what God said, y'all. Y'all can't change it. For out of the heart proceed evil thoughts, murders, adulteries, fornication, thefts, false witness, blasphemies. These are the things which defile a man, but to eat with unwashed hands defileth not a man. So if you, your children... Say, mommy, my stomach hurt. You're going to give them a little, you might give them a little bit of pepto -bismol. You know, it's, that's defiling their temple, right? pepto -bismol. It, it 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 goes through the Food and Drug Administration. Even Tylenols, they go through the Food and Drug Administration. They tell you drug facts right there, you see? On the back. So, if you see it's a drug, but you'll give it to your children... Because they got Tylenol for children But why would you tell somebody That's doing something That God said is a herb Now this is something that man said is a drug And man made it this God didn't create all this stuff The Tylenols and stuff God told us in Genesis chapter 1 He created the herb and the seeds And the fruits and the trees So how can you try to take something that's you you know this Tylenol and them Pepto Bismol is a drug, but you'll give it to your children and say they got a headache or they got allergies and they gotta go get pills and allergy medicine, and you know it's a drug, but you'll give it to them. But you sitting up here telling me something that God made is going against His word, and you can't see it in the word. That's the devil in you. I don't care how nobody feel. This is why my teachings is groundbreaking. This is why these these teachings I do when I'm preaching is going all across the world. And the devil is mad. He can't do nothing about this. We already hit 50 states. And I can't stop now. This I'm being inspired by the Holy Ghost, teaching all, teaching everything, everybody, teaching us all. When you ain't in the spirit, you just know this stuff is just come from God, bro. We can't take credit from nothing. You're right. All people are sinners. The prophets are e egregious or egregious sinners to show how God can change a man for better. Thank you, brother. Somebody that understand the scriptures. Grand Peck. Y'all not listening to what this brother's saying. He's preaching to y'all the good news. It don't matter if you a sinner. It matters that God want to change you. He want to come into your heart and make you feel so bad about that sin that you change when he come inside of you. You can't change on your own. But once you know his word and you know what's wrong and why it's wrong and how it causes generational curses in these things. This will make you fight it and want to change and you will start to fight the devil and all lies is of the devil so people come in here lying on god saying oh you can't do this while you preaching no you never seen a preacher do this while he was preaching that's what it is and, and make this much of an impact so don't stop me if god is using me maybe this might be used to to, for, to help me you never know don't look at everything as bad um the, the the bible even tell you believe all things if i'm not miss misquoting the scriptures and taking words out and adding words in i'm doing everything rightfully then don't believe it it's not me it's this all glory be to god if you don't believe me believe the works that i do that the father sent me and i'm in the father and the father's in me i and my father are one you can't separate me from the father you can't separate me from boasting in the father because he's greater than any other God. Jesus Christ said, you shall have no other. The, the, when Jesus Christ was in the spirit in the Old Testament, he told the Israelites in Israel, 
I am the Lord. Thou shalt have no other gods before me and don't serve no graven images, no idols or none of that. These brothers still holding up pictures talking about these are ancient Israelites from um, Israel, but they got it from Russia. But they the ones that say they got to teach the Gentiles, but they take the Gentiles information and try to teach you. You see how corrupt that is? That's why I came to rebuke all that stuff. Why is the Hebrew Israelites running around telling you they're God's chosen people and, and they got the promise that was only given to them? That's a lie because Jesus gave it to the Gentiles. But why are they running around telling everybody that they got to teach the world and they only know the history and they got to teach you your nationality? But some Russians with blue eyes and pale faces put out some some old some they could have drew them pictures up the night before they gave the, y'all that information. And y'all are all hearkening to it like that's biblical when it's is it, it come from the scriptures and it's not idolatry. It's not a graven image. You get what I'm saying? All these people sharing these videos because they know it's almost reaching a million of views because it's it's connection with Russia. So they're going to promote it. Because it's promoting their country, it's promoting their museums, it's promoting their money and their, um, their, their, I won't say empire, but their economy. And I'm destroying it in Jesus' name because it's lies. See? That's a graven image. And nobody likes the truth nowadays because this world lives off of darkness. So remember, dark, um, the light shineth, but darkness comprehendeth it not. It said they don't want to come to the light because their deeds are evil. That's the word. So they're just going to sit back in darkness and show you all these pictures and say, yeah, these the ancient Hebrew Israelites. I thought you just said only y'all could teach the statutes and commandments. Why are you giving me stuff from Russia? Ain't no Hebrew put this out. Vladimir Putin taking credit for this. But y'all get mad when I speak these things. See, we just lost 10 people. We was at 102 people. Boy, and I. I love Russia. I love Vladimir Putin. The facts. Don't act like y'all ain't draw up them pictures a couple months ago somewhere in the lab. I scrolled onto this now. My phone isn't letting me leave. All glory be to God. Hallelujah. You here for a reason, mask girl. Because you needed to hear how good Jesus Christ is and that Jesus Christ is God and he loves you and he want a relationship with you. So you need to pray more. You need to read your word first off. More important, the most important thing is to read your word and then pray more. Worship God more. Find some good music songs that's glorifying God, whether it's gospel, whether it's Christian hip hop, whatever it is. Find some good worship songs. And then you might want to start to fast so you can take out all the unclean thoughts. So even if it's like a 10 hour fast. So whatever you do, if you watch videos all day, you get up at 12 o'clock in the afternoon and watch videos to 12 o'clock at night. Take time a day off to worship God and, and write down everything he tell you on a paper, because when you start listening to his word and putting that worship music on and praying and fasting he gonna give you a lot of thoughts so you're gonna need pen and paper to write it down and that's that could be your introduction to learning wisdom and secrets of god that no man will be able to teach you or it'd be your introduction to start teaching others or leading your family or whatever god is calling you to do you'll know he'll give it he'll give you the answers Yeah, Joshua Taft. Good morning, brother. That's where God come first. He come to your heart. You can have people that can, like my aunts, they go to church every Sunday. They don't smoke and drink. But they celebrate Christmas. They bear false witness. They gossip. They don't reprove sinners.
When I was in Islam, my aunts didn't tell me about the Bible. They didn't give me no Bible verse. My aunt that's in church. So like somebody could be in church every Sunday for 20 years, have a high position in the church, but they don't help their family when they in darkness. And I'm out here preaching in public every day, glorifying God. I don't see these pastors from these churches coming out here reading the Bible. And then people look down and think they got authority or think you're going to get it. Like, I'm going to take it lightly with you coming at me like this. These churches do what they told to do. I'm doing what God tell me to do. That's the difference. And y'all mad because I'm not being controlled by the devil. When they give back to the community, that's something that they do with the government. They get funded to do that. When they have the gun buybacks, they have it at the church. So anybody that want to go um, like bring their guns in, they have the police at the church and they'll say you'll get two hundred dollars for a pistol and five hundred for a rifle. And that's a good thing. You know what I'm saying? That's helping take violence away from the streets and lower down the crime rate. That's good. I'm not I'm not saying that's bad, but they work with the government and get told to do these things. God don't tell them to do this. I'm telling you, they don't. They, it's all about money. That's why they don't be out here every day trying to help people or do those type of things. They start organizations. I always said this, brothers and sisters, if I wanted to help the homeless, why would I start an organization and then go register it and try to get put money involved in it? If I wanted to help a homeless, wouldn't I just take whatever little bit I have and help as much homeless people as I could? There's no rules when I'm doing it like that. If I'm making a LLC, then I'm trying to get money off of it. I'm passing out turkeys to the homeless during Thanksgiving because I got a tax write off and a in a funding from um grants and stuff like that. I'm not doing things with a corrupt heart. I'm doing things from the kindness of my heart. If I wanted to stop the violence on the streets, which I've been doing just a, a little bit with as little as I can, you wouldn't go get an organization and go get funded to start doing certain things and working with the cops. You will go out there whenever there's violence and you will speak out against it. So that's what I did. When the shootings and stuff start happening, I'm going to the same corner where the shootings happen and I'm yelling and going crazy, screaming, telling people y'all need God in y'all heart. Stop doing all these shootings and this. Like I was going, I was, I was doing the best I could and the most I could until I just had, God just had to isolate me and say, son, let me take you out of harm's way because it's a lot of people trying to take you out because you're just, too bold and too courageous and too, you know, not afraid. So he humbled me and took me out of danger because people was trying to make my good look evil, teaming up against me. But meanwhile, they in the church with a woman preacher. They smiling up in these people's face, playing cards with them. But the whole time they mad at you, talking down on you. All you doing is reading the Bible, but they hating on you. But they're not mad at the girl that go to church with the woman preacher that's friends with your sister. They let her come over the house and play cards. Y'all having Freemasonic um, Eastern Star Night, having an Eastern Star meeting. And then once you start to rebuke these people and tell them, man, y'all are sinners. Y'all talking about people snitching and all that. People snitched in our family on each other. Why are you talking about snitching? I don't like to hear that stuff. I don't live like that. So it's like we got to live and hear these things from people. And you got people telling you, don't tell me who I can have in. And, and you a grown ass woman and you ain't even rebuking these people. It's wicked because y'all all do the same thing. Liars, stealers, criminals, drug dealers. I told my own mama to repent. I'm not playing. <coughs> wow, that donut was dry. Anyway, keep me all in here too long. Felice Harris, she said, amen. Had to walk away. From my parents and my son 
as they all walk in total darkness broke my heart but need to be obedient yeah I, I'm looking for deliverance get away hopefully Lord willing it'll come soon but this one sister told me yeah if you ever get a ride or you come to Alabama you're welcome to live here rent free and I told y'all I ain't want to make no video about no goddamn um, stars in the sky and galaxies and she gonna send me all these emails trying to curse me out I didn't even say okay I, I Maybe I'll come down there. I want to live there. I ain't say nothing about it. I just said, oh, OK, thank you. But how you go from telling somebody you can live with them or rent free? If you ever need a place that then cursing them out, calling them all type of names. She was using profanity and everything. I ain't even show y'all all the emails. So my thing is you are came over here to do the work of the devil. The devil got y'all over here trying to deceive each other. Y'all deceiving, deceiving others. my brother i'm confused are you saying i can preach with a cigarette in my mouth let's talk about it so if somebody's in adultery because you got a cigarette in your mouth you can't preach to them and tell them about adultery you're not living in adultery if you're living in adultery and you tell somebody don't commit adultery then you're a hypocrite i never told nobody not to do something that I'm doing. I told them slow down, work on it, give it to God, pray. I'm I'm battling but I to also told them, man, don't beat yourself up over it because it's really not a sin. But don't go crazy with it talking like Styles P talking about this is my magic wand and I'm the musician. He tried to say that the spinach he said the spinach is his magic wand and he's not the spinach the joint the blunt he said the blunt is the magic wand and i'm the musician when you start thinking like that and you believe in and stuff like that that's when you remove yourself from the word of god from the spirit of truth so as long as you ain't moving like that then you all good and i love styles p i ain't trying to start nothing with nobody i'm just saying we, we using these things to teach the truth so that's all If you had a cigarette in your mouth and somebody was stealing, you mean to tell me you can't stop them and tell them don't steal because you got a cigarette in your mouth? Or you see somebody about to hurt a child, you're going to say, man, I can't preach to this dude and tell him don't beat up a child and, and murder this child because I got a cigarette in my mouth. You a goddamn fool. Amen. Um, Joshua Teff says, amen. I am crippled and after years got healed up enough to walk after a motorcycle wreck. I found God through struggle. All oh, glory be to God, brother. That's a miracle right there. This brother's just testifying of a miracle that God worked on him. Being crippled and now being able to walk. I have dealt with family not being so godly. And yeah, I've seen the gang stalking before my town. They calmed down, but it was bad for a bit. Yeah. They like to recruit a lot of young people in these colleges, too. I noticed that. I had a lot of pro lot problems, but it would be a lot of aggressive drivers when I get on colleges. Like, we can only go 10 miles per hour on this campus, but somehow, some way, somehow, you just mysteriously came doing 30 miles to catch up on me and then not only catch up on me ride up real close up on me like you want to cause an accident you're like it ain't people out here walking and stuff like that so when you react they think you doing something wrong or you crazy no i feel what y'all doing i know what y'all doing they got the security in on it and all this stuff sometimes sometimes some schools but it like you said it calmed down for me too it didn't stop i feel like they don't want to use no more initiates no more 
They only want to use people that have like a rank now to try to tempt me. But that's better for me because I can bring down bigger people. Come on, come on. And to give me more spiritual strength when I snatch your soul and send it back to Christ. <laughs> In Jesus name. I actually look forward to taking out people who hold a lot of demonic power. Come up out y'all hiding places, come up out y'all bunkers and come for me so I can get y'all license plates and stuff like that. Oh, oh, glory to the Father. Yes. Nicholas Lee, however, it's a turn off. Like right now, you're witnessing people being turned off from hearing the word because he appears to be do evil, though it's not actually evil. That's facts. Look, First Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 22. Abstain from all appearance of evil. So how can I appear to be evil if Stevie Wonder can't see me? See, y'all don't judge righteous judgment. That's why the Bible say don't judge according to appearance, but judge righteous judgment. When you put these two scriptures together, you can show and prove that these people, they are not righteous judges. First Thessalonians chapter five and verse 22, it says. Prove all things. See, that's what I'm doing. I'm proving all things. Quench not the spirit. Despise not prophesying. Prove all things. Hold fast that which is good. Abstain from all appearance of evil. So if somebody is blind, they can't see you, but they can see you in the spirit because they can hear what you're speaking about. They can hear if your spirit is leading them to Christ. They can hear if your spirit is being moved by God or Satan. They would know because you'll be talking the word of God. And you'll be telling them to look up in Luke 10, 19, where it says, behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all power the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Or what about in the book of Psalms when these devils try to act up Psalms 91, make them do backflips It say. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the owl that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked because thou hast made the lord which is my refuge even the most high thy habitation there shall no evil befall thee neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling for he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways they shall bear thee up in their hands lest thou dash thy foot against a stone Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under your feet because he hath set his love upon me. Therefore, will I deliver him? I will set him on high because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him with long life. Will I satisfy him and shew him my salvation? All glory be to God. All glory be to the Father. So we ready to start this stream up. I, I took a lot of time out on this live. Because some people are still, they, they should be teachers by now. But a lot of them have the need for somebody to teach them. You saying you're not a sinner, but you got children and you giving them Pepto-Bismol, brother. That, that don't come from God. That's a sin. According to what you think. Well, I know what I'm doing ain't a sin because I'm proving to you it come from God. 
the same way you eat your fruits and your vegetables, but they got to put certain stuff to keep the, the um, fruits and vegetables um, to keep its freshness. So it won't get like soggy or moldy or rotten. They shoot up the bananas and some of that stuff, right? So they can keep it fresh. So you ain't saying nothing about that. What about Monsanto's? Remember Monsanto's? Remember Keystone and all them people? All they pipelines and trying to go through all the farmer's land and, and, and they told them they'd pay them? You ain't saying nothing about that. See? What about the water? They say if you drink water from certain faucets, it's bad. You talking about all this other stuff, but we ain't even living in a pure environment. What are you talking about? Go to Detroit or certain places and they say if you drink certain faucet water, it's bad, right? So if you can't clean up the world, how are you trying to clean up something else? Like we all got to live under this, but you ain't making it better for us. So how are you going to try to hurt one person or try to correct one person, but you ain't correcting the people where many lives is being affected? It's weak. It's not righteous judgment. You are a respecter of persons. You are enemy of God. They doing evil in the sight of the Lord. That's all. Moses was wrong for that. And Peter was wrong for that. For what he know he know they wasn't. God used them. Yeah, they was they 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 did it. It was justifiable of God. What about when Dinah Temple got look, man, y'all act like y'all know the Bible. So going to Genesis. Going to Genesis. Start at verse. Start at verse 34. And I mean, chapter 34. Um. Go to when the brothers got revenge when Dinah temple was defiled in Genesis chapter 34 and start at chapter 34 verse 25. And it came to pass on the third day when they were sore that two of the sons of Jacob. So y'all all say Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. So these are Jacob's sons. So this is like real important. But if you don't know this and you can't show this and, and teach this while, uh, the way how I'm about to show you, this can prove that you don't know God's word like that. It say, and it came to pass on the third. So this means you don't follow Jacob or you don't follow anybody who came from Cain because Cain killed Abel, right? See, y'all sound wicked. And it came to pass on the third day when they were sore that two of the sons of Jacob, Simon and Levi, Dinah's brethren, took each man his sword and came upon the city boldly and slew all the males. And they slew Hamor and Shisham, his son, with the edge of the sword and took Dinah out of Shisham's house and went out. So this man then took their sister, had them all up in her house, had her in his house, and she they defiled her. She didn't want to be with him. See? So he raped her. The sons of Jacob came upon the slain and spoiled the city because they had defiled their sister. They took their sheep and their oxen and their asses and that which was in the city and that which was in the field and all their wealth and all their little ones and their wives. They took their captive and spoiled even all that was in the house. So you go read more about that, what happened, what Jacob say. So y'all all say Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. So when I show you Jacob's children went out and slew these people. Huh? You don't say nothing about I'm not going to claim that um, Jacob shall rejoice. And they don't say nothing like that. They all like everybody glorify Jacob. So when I show you what murder was done by Jacob's sons, are you going to say, oh, I ain't following Jacob? Nobody would say that. They would get looked on like you, the most antichrist, disrespectful atheist in the world, right? 
Abraham is one of the most important people in the Old Testament. Abraham, Jacob, and, and, and Noah, Isaac, well, this Genesis, this is the beginning. The promise was given to who? Abraham, Jacob, and, and, and these are important people. So if you're going to sit up here and tell me what I'm doing, that's not harming nobody. I didn't take nobody's life. But these men took people live and we still follow their they fathers and their teachings. So what are you trying to say? Exactly. Exactly. Proving my point. Moses was wrong for what he did, but God still used him. It's a lesson in all of it. The lesson was God justified it because they was oppressing Moses and his people. The lesson is that man went against their sister and he went against God's laws and they didn't get held accountable because it was done righteously. That's the lesson. So you're not going to always get away with harming the innocent, oppressing people. Sometimes God will justify what things do, certain things. But I'm th this this not telling nobody to do anything or take anything to their own hands. I'm just telling you God used them from the Bible to, to teach us and show us to put the fear of God in our heart to say, well, I would never do that or I wouldn't even be around people that do things like that. That's what it's for. So, our, so we can learn and know this leads to death. Sodom and Gomorrah, the same thing. Because if they tell you they keeping all the statutes and laws, it say thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. I don't see none of y'all saying let's we going on our next witch hunt. I don't see y'all even rebuking witches. So what are y'all saying? They talking about they had lust in their body from the incest. That don't sound like you suffering a witch not to live. It sounds like they catching you and making you lust. Huh? Am I preaching facts, brothers and sisters? Huh? The, oh, the, it's in the law, brothers and sisters. It say, thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. But these Hebrew Israelites running around talking about, I couldn't perform at the fringe fest. I had lust in my body from the incest. That don't sound like suffer not a wish to live to me i'm just speaking the facts i don't care y'all get mad <laughs> all y'all want <laughs> it don't even matter y'all know i'm speaking the truth yeah josh Muhammad was a big liar. The sad thing about it is when all them different race Muslims wake up and find out that they pray to the devil, they going to want to come back and renounce Islam too. So that's when the body of Christ will have more wisdom, knowledge, testimonies. Because there's some things that these people probably went deep in Islam and became emams and stuff like that that they can come back and testify and get testimonies yeah i think muhammad was making them drink his urine and stuff like that too that's another thing like this ain't no religion bro yeah A lot of people have anxiety. You're right, brother, Drex. But that's the good thing about it. I don't got to go get to the doctor and get no prescriptions. My prescription, something that God prescribed for all mankind. If you see the good in it, to the good, all things are good. But to the defiled, all things are, to the unbeliever and then to the defiled, all things are defiled to them. Don't call what God made uncommon or not clean see i'm giving y'all a bible sound doctrine line upon line precept upon precept and y'all are trying to be bullies telling somebody what you what you think and what you feel god never said a prophet could say what he think and he feel or speak on his own so you're not speaking for god or of god you asking ignorant questions that you didn't even read the word to ask these questions you see me doing something that God is inspired. It's, it's divinely inspired by God. All glory be to God. You see God using me. 
to do something for him. And you thinking it's me doing it on my own will. So you're trying to come at me in the flesh. Hit the like button, y'all. Make sure y'all check out the Jesus Christ is God t-shirts. May peace be unto you. Red Bunny Classic. Digital World Technology. Good night. So he must be over in Australia or something. Good night. May our Lord Jesus Christ bless and forgive us all. For we don't know what we are doing. Amen. It's Lee. You said you agree. Did it kill you? Well... If you don't believe, then you're undefiled already. If you got faith and you believe in God, that's like saying eating pork could kill somebody. Some of y'all got grandmothers that didn't even believe in God. They ate pork and lived a long life. So they had blind faith in God. They didn't believe like they knew the Bible. They just believed because they were taught by a false pastor. So. And they lived a long life, some of y'all grandmothers. So God ain't going to look at it when somebody is doing his will and just say, well, I'm going to I'm going to take or destroy or anything because it's not it's not promote it's not being promoted. It's actually being looked down on. And I'm telling y'all. Take the teachings. Don't look at what you're seeing in the background and try to take away from the teachings. Take the teachings. But I will answer all questions. So you said you agree, but you think they kill you. And what? what why do it? What willfully destroy your body? So that's another topic brother i ain't gonna spend too much time on that anything can destroy your body if you don't receive it with thanksgiving and praise what you talking about you were shutting me down with the scriptures you come over here with this um hebrew israelite doctrine and y'all took a vow to the, a lot of y'all took vows to the freemasons so I don't know what you're talking about. Put me to shame for being a Catholic. Well, ain't nothing biblical about being a Catholic, man. I, I wouldn't even confess that. Show me where Paul or any of the disciples said that they were Catholics. I wouldn't even be running around saying I'm a Catholic to tell you the truth. That stuff is false, bro. I'm the Church of God in Christ and all that. That's false. Kojic, all them stuff. Church of Latter-day Saints, that's not biblical. Ain't none of their church names biblical. They made it all up. But y'all don't go tell them they sinners. You can't just make up your own church name. If you believe in the Bible, you're going to follow everything what it say. What's the name we see for a church, y'all? The only name we see for a church, Church of God. Who told y'all to call yourself the, the Church of Latter-day Saints? Where you see it in the scriptures, we're missionaries, female missionaries for the first church of Latter-day Saints. Yeah, of course, y'all going to call it the first church because it was never no such thing as Latter-day Saints in the scriptures, let alone a church called that. They add to the word, but they don't want to say nothing about that. And these are the people that get paid, they get promotion. They all on the commercials and all that. They getting fundraisers and supposed to be helping the homeless men. They give grants and stuff. I ain't worrying about none of that. I know whatever God want me to have, he give it to me. So I'm not out here. I don't got nothing to pass out Bibles to people. I'm doing what I got with my knowledge. I told y'all where to go. I said, go to Chapel Library down in Florida and, and email them or call them. And they'll send you a, a, a free $20 prescription of all magazines, but they're not the Bible. It's just study books from other authors. 
I recommend y'all to the Bible, but everything I'm doing is to give glory to God. I do so much good work and teach so much good lessons. People don't believe that I'm able to do this. They looking at me and judging me. Some of these people think they know me. So when they see me, they like, man, he's just so quiet and humble. He don't talk to nobody. How can he be used to be doing all this preaching? And we we see him in, in like. Yeah, you see me and I'm always glorifying God, right? The people who've been attacking me. I think maybe y'all Freemasonic leader, when y'all went to take y'all oath, whoever got to give them their funding, because when Judas um, betrayed Jesus, he had to go get 30 pieces of silver. So the people who gave him the 30 pieces of silver, when Judas tried to give um, give it back after they hung himself, they said that we can't take this. This this got um this has got innocent blood on this silver. So they they took the silver and put it in Potter's Field or something like that. So when these people start deceiving and betraying people, they got to go to the cult leader, the Freemasonic cult leader and get them pieces of silver. But he can't give it to him. He got to call up to the to the. Uh, the leaders in England or something. And they get the. They get approval to get their funding or whatever to go do evil and wicked. But now it's coming that you can't come against a child of God. You can't do that. Y'all can only do evil to people that live by y'all rules and, and destroy them. The evil will destroy the wicked. You won't destroy the righteous. We we are over every principality. Jesus Christ is over every principality. We have his spirit in us. You're not deceiving us. You're not overpowering us. So what's going to happen is it's going to be division. Now it's going to be division because everybody that truly love God up in these places, they going to have to really do what, 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 what God say. They can't put their fraternity oath over God's law. If they do, then that's on them. But I'm not coming to bring, bring peace on earth, but a sword. To all workers of iniquity, I come to bring the sword. Y'all not supposed to like me. I'm not supposed to be y'all friends. I'm a preacher of righteousness. I'm a man of God. I'm not supposed to be up here agreeing with you. So what if we do the same things and we eat the same food? I'm set apart. I'm not the same, but we live in the same environment, some of us. Some of us live in the same city, the same state, same country. What I'm saying is this don't mean that we are the same as you. As far as glorifying the flesh. Looking at people saying, oh, wow, they look good. We don't look at people looks and say they look good. We look at the spirit and see if it's a good or, or, or a beautiful spirit. There's nothing good but God. So. We, we in this world, but we've set it apart. So a lot of us will be despised. Discipleship. The same way I'm speaking for the most high and blocking you. The same way how you got to sit back and listen to me speak about God and do what I'm doing. That's the same way I'm doing it because I'm not in a church building. I don't go by the rules that they set up to say you got to dress in suits, go to church only on Sunday and take tithes and offerings that the church never did. So if I don't follow the rules that they told you, then you're not going to see the same thing from looking at a pastor with a bunch of oil on his head and stuff like that. I'm not I'm not the same as what they look like. I'm being myself. God said, come as you are. Give me all your worries, all your cares, cast it on me. And that's what I'm doing. And I'm calling out and screaming out for my deliverance. I'm the voice of one crying in the wilderness saying, make way for the Lord and make his path straight. I must decrease. He must increase.
All right, let's get ready to start this up. I got to find this song where this this dude talk about the fringes. Take that little five second clip and we go right to work. I'm going to talk about the incest, how you said you couldn't perform at the French Fest. And I'm just going to go in, man. All glory be to God. I love y'all. May peace be upon y'all. In Jesus name. Watching from South Africa. Big ups to South Africa. Don't block. You need the negative input. I know I don't want to block them, but when they say certain words it's like man they are promoting stuff that i'm not promoting and i'm not talking about it i tell people man i feel convicted forgive me but it's not a sin it can be looked at as unrighteousness but i broke it down and showed them with the scriptures how god created this stuff and you're trying to call something that God created uncommon. So that makes you an unbeliever. You don't believe in the Bible. So when they try to convict me or condemn me or rebuke me, it puts them in a bad position to say, well, you're right. I don't believe in the Bible. You telling me that um, Peter chopping off a man ear, you ain't going to listen to nothing, none of his verses no more. You a hypocrite. You telling me your children get sick or a headache. You ain't going to give them a Tylenol. You a hypocrite. Your children are drug addicts. Therefore, they shall be your judges. Your house is left until you desolate. Don't let your children watch this video because they're going to have so much knowledge and wisdom. They're going to break free from them lies their parents tried to keep them under. If your parents been trying to keep you away from God, they've been trying to control you and do witchcraft on you. How your mom been taking you to church? but don't know nothing about God and then all of a sudden don't believe in the Bible. Yet some of y'all families will be trying to do witchcraft on y'all. I'm just keeping it real. I just thank God for giving me the strength to still be alive, to see certain things that I've seen, to hear certain things and to live through what I live through. My heart is at peace and I just fight for a better day every day and fight to just keep my heart pure no matter what. If they're going to be wicked and evil, let them be wicked and evil. Everything will be revealed. And they will have to confess no matter what. Whatever they do, they're going to have to repent and confess instantly. Because you can't make somebody look like something they're not. People try hard to pay the picture on you. But you've been in secret, in a secret place the whole time working with God. So now when them seeds that you planted start to, they got watered and now God giving the increase. People are shocked. They don't, they don't even know. I won't even tell nobody in my family or promote this channel. But once people do find out, that's why I'm so upset. And I keep saying that I think this girl told the wrong people. That girl Shay. I never met her off YouTube. I knew her from a long time ago. We haven't met and seen each other in a while, but I reached out to her a while ago on Facebook and we've been like kind of talk and text message each other. And I started telling her, I shared my channel with her so she'd know my channel. I shared it with her. She told me she watched a couple of my videos, but then I just feel like she told some, she might've been not even talking evil she might have just been telling certain people like yeah you know he's on youtube preaching about god and they said let me see and it's people from this town that i'm in or it's people that she know that think they know me that i have no relationship with no communication with so they're gonna come in here and say all type of evil because they think they know me but we don't talk i don't got no fellowship with these people so they, you know, when people, when you in your own hometown and people think they know you because they see you every day, but then they don't know that you've been working secretly and glorifying God the whole time. They just hear you playing all this gossip. I mean, gospel music and stuff. And they think this stuff is fake or something like that. They think you're doing this like nobody knows where God is using, how he's using people. So when some of the fruits start getting shown. 
all they can think of is how they want to try to take it down because they can't do the work that they sell. They're not going to spend a whole year preaching and waiting for God to um, water them seeds and give them an increase. None of them is doing it. Ain't no cop. I don't give a I don't give a damn. Ain't no cop doing it. Ain't no firefighter doing it. Ain't no ambulance man doing it. They could say they love God all they want. They ain't getting off their job and then giving a time to God and preaching the word so they can condemn all they want. But until they try to preach for 24 hours, God will look at them like uh, mockers, backbiters, enviers, haters. I gave my heart and my soul to God. I preached 24 hours. That's in my playlist. Go check both of my playlists. That video is in there. 24 hour live stream, me just preaching. So once I did that, I broke world records. So can nobody compare me to no preacher, no man that ever walked the face of this earth? only compare me with Christ. That's it. And the stuff that he taught is the stuff that I live by. You say, honor your mother and your father. I tell you, God said that whoever do the will of God is his father. Jesus Christ. When he came in the flesh as God, he said, whoever does the will in the, um, whoever does the will of his father in heaven is his brother, sister, mother, and brethren. Whoever hear the word of God and do it. And the word of God is Jesus Christ. So that's the that's the facts. So you could take it however you want. I told you that I'm giving y'all too much scriptures and too much truth that when you're a child, you're supposed to think like a child. So you're supposed to honor your mother and your father. Your mother can be committing adultery, stealing from you, stealing from your piggy bank. You just got to honor her. But once you grow up, and you know adultery is wrong. You old enough to get married and stuff like that. You can no longer think like a child and say, man, I know this is wrong. I'm just going to shut up about it. No, you are wrong. You living in, in wickedness. And then you got so much to say about other people and try to judge them. But you ain't going to help nobody with your A1 credit. Some people are do more for other people's children than they do for their own children. But anyway, we here now. It's no turning back. The devil can't do nothing. It don't. I don't care how much y'all look and attack. We gonna keep preaching. Y'all gonna keep getting this work put on y'all. Myra, Psalms twenty seven. If I'm yapping, then sit back and watch from the sidelines. I'm coming right back, y'all. I'm, I'm, I wasn't supposed to be here this live, this long on this live. So I'm going to. All right, may peace be upon y'all. I'm just looking through some of these comments. I'm going to come back. I stayed a little too long on this live because I really want to get this scriptures out about these fringes and garments. And you said blocking is not it. We must help our ill will brothers and sisters and help show them the light of our father has showed us. Part of the reason why I block is because when you come in here and you say certain words, YouTube is supposed to protect the platform by holding the potentially inappropriate comments. So I'm telling them to stay respectful in the chat. You could disagree and do it respectfully. Why would you come to a chat that's speaking about God to say a bunch of ungodly things? Y'all don't even do that on the comment sections when y'all go on them talk shows and the gossip channels y'all don't you say oh yeah i love cardi b i love um sipping tea with this um youtube 
um, gossiper. You get what I'm saying? They might name their channel Gossip and Tea or whatever. And you say, I love watching them. You don't leave. You don't try to rebuke them or nothing. You coming over here like you know the Bible and stuff like that. Man, you about to get put to shame. Every last one of y'all, every tongue that rise up against me in judgment will be condemned. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. And this is marvelous in the Lord's eyes. So it don't matter how y'all feel what y'all say. Keep showing that I'm preaching with the power. I want every Hebrew Israelite camp to team up and keep coming over here and bring me all what y'all got. I'm not blocking nobody for questions and disagreeing with scriptures. I'm blocking people for saying stuff that's not tolerated in God's eyes. He won't tolerate no lies, no wicked seven abominations. I'm getting you up out of here. If you walk in the abomination, I'm getting you up out of here. You can sit back and watch. You can email me. We could talk on Instagram and go live. That sister that called me a liar, she still haven't given me her Instagram. She just kept trying to send me emails talking about prove me wrong, prove me wrong. I got to prove nothing. I just exposed you and everybody seen it. Now you prove me wrong. See, get on Instagram. She She's scared. She know I'll embarrass her. All glory be to God. Thank you, Alex. Slanderous messages should be blocked because what they're doing is trying to exalt themselves higher than the knowledge of God. We're supposed to cast down imaginations and every high thought that exalt itself against the knowledge of God. And that's all they're doing. So they get cast out the temple. Yeah, it isn't our job. To save anyone. I can't save anyone. Our calling is to lead them to Jesus. Only Jesus can save. Thank you, Myra. And that's why I'm sitting up here just so blunt and so bold and just like getting my Popeye the Seller Man on. I'm going to lead you to Christ regardless whether you like me or not. I'm going to quote all these scriptures and I'm going to read all these scriptures. This is not of my own will. This is the Father's will. I ain't nothing in here my own words. This is all scriptures. This is a lot of work. This is why I'm sitting up here procrastinating so hard because this is about to be a lot of work. And we don't just got that one page. We got a little bit of this, too. We got a little bit more. So this is going to be some some hard work. But somebody got to do it. Did Moses tell y'all to wear blue fringes? See, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go strong in this. Watch. <laughs> I'm not playing with y'all. This I love this, brothers and sisters. Y'all try to make me go through stress. This is a, a stress reliever. You can't make my job harder than Christ already said. Um, my my yoke is um my yoke is light. And he said, My I'm lowly. And um, yeah, you can't try to make my father say that his burden is not heavy. And you get what I'm saying? We're gonna find rest in our heart and stuff. Like, I ain't smiled like this in a long time. I was dealing with so much stress and arguing and all this stuff, man. It's good to just be able to preach a righteous message and you don't got to believe it. The word ain't going to change. That's the good news. You don't have to take it, but it'll still be here whenever you're ready. And you're not going to hurt me for giving the message. Romans chapter six, verse 10. I didn't write it. So you can't get mad at me for rightly dividing it. For in that he died, he died unto sin once, but in that he liveth, he liveth unto God. So it say, blessed be the men who God will hide their sins. He will hide away their sins. He won't remember their sins no more. What about that? See, y'all don't take everything in the context when you talk about sin. That might be a whole nother stream we have to do dealing with sin. What is sin and what is it not? So I'm going... I'm not going to stay here too much longer. I'm getting cold up in here. I, I, we got a lot of work to do. I should get gas now, but I'm just going to let it because I'll be running out of gas real quick. See? But all is well. I'm just going to stay here and get this work done. Cash, thank you for the style oil. Style auto, thank you for the $5 contribution brother may peace be unto you the 
said he's speaking truth. All right, y'all. Said, I'm happy to see you smile. I hope it continues. Yeah, all glory be to God. Lavaris Rivers said, thank you, brother, for standing up for God. You are awesome. Amen. All glory be to the Father. Ken Siolek. God bless, brother. Yeah, the Israelites be preaching hatred. And that's why I'm going to shut them down with this stream, the show. The stuff that they believe and they preach, it ain't even biblical. They be wearing fringes like Christ taught them to wear fringes. He never taught that. That's in old, that's in the law. Why y'all still doing stuff in the law and y'all y'all be getting your face all shaped up like this dude that say he like they be getting their face shaped up and stuff. They don't grow their beards. That's all I'm saying. Y'all don't look like Hebrew Israelites. What's your Instagram? Girly. My Instagram is Casper underscore Devon underscore Bay. B-E-Y. I still got my old name when I was following the Muslims. Keep giving the word, bro. Shannon Hart. Every day, all day. So I'm coming right back, y'all. Give me five minutes. I'm start I'm starting a stream up right after this. So we're gonna get right into this about fringes and garments. And then hopefully I'll have a, a little bit of more time throughout the day to come back around five or six in the afternoon and do another stream that a brother sent me in the email. So I wanna cover that too. Dealing with that um, tabernacle, the holy, holy, holy tabernacle and how it had two parts of it, what the first part was used for and pictures of the Manoah and everything like that. We're going to get come back with that, hopefully, Lord willing, later. But I'm getting into this garment and fringes right now. I'll see you all in a second. May peace be unto you all in Jesus name. <laughs> 